Right now I'm ready to cut some tomato. Once again, I've got a tomato, it's rolling around. I don't wanna be cutting something that's rolling around. I'm holding my knife, the thumb and first finger holding the blade. The rest of my fingers are on the handle. I'm gonna use my, I can use my fingers like this, just holding onto it like with your fingernails and using your knuckles as a guide and use a little bit of sawing action. Now I've got my tomato in two halves and I can lay them down flat. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the onion and I'm going to cut through twice, but I'm not cutting all the way through. It's still attached so that it doesn't fall apart. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with that onion. Put your point down and make cuts about a quarter of an inch. You can also use that claw where you're holding on either side of the vegetable. Okay, now I'm gonna go across the other way like I did with the onion, about an inch. Right, not, not an inch, about a quarter of an inch, sorry. Okay. Again, I might have a big piece at the end because I didn't go all the way through and I can just chop that little piece up. So now my tomato pieces are all about the same size as those onion pieces. This is uh, about a quarter inch, which is a small dice. And that I'm gonna put in my bowl where I'm gonna start assembling all the parts of my salsa. To do this tomato also. Okay, I'm going to cut my quarter inch slices. And then I'm going to go across the other direction. my tomato. All right, now, so you will do the rest of that with your tomatoes. Um, the lime, um, you can soften it up a little bit by rolling it. Cut it in half. Put it in the juicer this way to get your lime juice. I'm going to the recipe says a quarter of a cup, but this is one of those recipes where you uh, want to make it to taste. If you taste it and you're like, oh, it doesn't have enough lime, you can put some more lime in. 